Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Today's little project, we're going to do a hopefully quick repair on this bandsaw blade guide. Someone who shall remain nameless was negligent and broke the thumb screw that for this adjustment here. This is a see that chassis right. Uh, a lot of old band saws have these. The company I've did some research on them a long time ago. As I recall, they pretty much made bandsaw blade guides and table saw guides or something and they uh did have some machines but they're all just rebranded but made from other manufacturers this is off my 26 inch crescent bandsaw so <coughs> excuse me that just holds in you know this was back here holding that where nowadays that would be a ball bearing now I'm hoping it's not that stuck. It was moving when said person <laughs> broke it. So I've got to get it in the soft jaws. Put a rag on it too. Protect it as much as possible. They bring you guys in a little closer. And zoomy zoomy. Okay. Spray it with a little some spraying stuff. Now I'm gonna try to do Pretty sharp tip punch and a little ball peen. Let's try to get that guy to turn before we have to go to other methods. So, that thumb screw that was in there was pretty soft. having the world's greatest luck here I'm trying to establish an edge Hmm. Nothing yet. I am getting a good dimple in there. Of course, I'm trying not to damage the threads. I don't have any luck with that. Let me switch to a different chisel. I got it sharper ended chisel and even pointier punch. Hopefully I get this guy out quick. I 
I think it moved a little bit. So, see if I can catch that lip with this flat chisel now. And that pretty much just shaves my lip off. Yeah, that, that screw is this. It's very soft. Which is a good and a bad thing. I'm going to take my chisel. Cut me a little flat spot. Cut me a little divot here. Okay. Now I'm going to go get my drill set up with some left-hand drill bits. I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I got my left-handed drill bits. My lost in one. Now let's see how this goes. Staying out of the thread. So that's cool. Well, being, of course, it will catch at some point. <laughs> now, if, <clears throat> if I can't get this out, it's not a huge deal. All this is is a set screw hole that holds this tube in. So if the threads do get damaged or are damaged, because maybe that's why it broke, I'll just drill this one size bigger and no biggie. Let me see if I got a extractor small enough. I don't think I do. I don't typically use really small broken bolt extractors because then they just they just instantly break. We are staying out of the thread. So, see if I can. Kind of collapse it in a little bit. So we're almost through. We're almost through down to that guy. And ideally, I will not drill through it. We are pretty much down to to this guy. So let me go get. Let me go see if I have something I can thread in there and catch that with, and I'll bring you back. So now what I'm gonna do is sorry, I was grabbing something off the wall. I'm gonna tap this Torx bit in there.
Let's see what we do. And voila! It just got through it. Threads are good. Little... Is that showing? Let me get this out of the vice real quick. Yep, there's still all the threads in there. All nice and shiny. I scored that thing a little bit. I'm not proud of that, but I didn't go through it. And again, just a it's just a place for this to ride. You can see how close I got. You can actually see the web. Is that gonna show? You can see daylight on the minor diameter of these threads. Let me stick a... <laughs> That's about as close as you can get. Okay. Awesome. Now, we'll just put a new thumb screw in there. Clean these guys up. And we are one step closer to... I already ordered the blade for the bandsaw. That's a coming. Yes, it's not gonna take much to get that guy going. It's this, that was the repair on the bandsaw blade guy. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.